How's it going, YouTube? Got a new Migron today. It's the first Migron I've bought in a while. In the box, not a whole lot. You get a card, some silica. Never attempt to cut metal. Keep sharp knife out of reach of children. Never attempt to catch a falling knife. Okay. I guess they think we're lacking brain cells. And here's the knife. $30.95 for this little guy. I believe it's their cheapest one retail so far. They do have a couple or three different variants of this. You got a black on black and a, a gray on satin. And how about that side? Looks pretty good, don't it? I'm so used to their ugly sandblasted finish. I'm glad they're away from that now. Okay, let's go over the specs. 3.01, just over three inches, um, D2 blade. Satin finish, I'd call it, looks like a spare point to me. You could probably call it a drop point if you wanted. And flat grind. Pretty slicey, thin behind the edge. And um, yes, I did say D2. If you buy Megron a lot, you're probably wondering what's up. Because they've been doing 14C28N, all their budget models. But, I don't know, I guess they... I really don't know what he's thinking, but I guess I'm alright with it as long as he don't stop with the 14C. If he just does a D2 every once in a while, it'll be all good. Because um, D2 rust where I live, I don't know about where you live, might be alright. But blade stock's 3.1 millimeters or 0.12 inches, so about average. Got an overall length of 6.95 inches, so definitely into the small, medium um, size range. A um, little bit bigger than a fifth pocket carry, but not much. Um, it says on the website 7.02, and no matter how I measured it, it's under 7. So I don't know what's up with that. Let's compare it to some other knives, including my favorite, the Migron Moral. The hardest name to say. Definitely a lot bigger. And the Migron Kerrix. My first Migron. Definitely bigger. QB Duroc. Is this called Kaiser Sparrow? They're very, very close. A little bit bigger, but just a couple of hairs. Two more. Because I got them out. CBV Elementum Warncliffe and Kaiser Drop Bear. Any variant, they all should be the same length. Again, just a hair bigger, very, very close. You got a 3.94 inch handle, again, website's line, 0.52 inches wide, and the close width in the pockets 1.23 inches here, here to here. Yeah. You got T8 on your one body screw, T6 on the clip. You got a weight of 3.3 ounces. Do have some cutout on the inside. So it's a little bit heavy for its size, but still lightweight. If that makes sense. Do you have a right or left hand carry, deep carry clip. 
you do have the screws pop, pop up a little bit and it's not inset, but it looks like it should go in, in and out of the pocket pretty easily. You got tan, G10, or brown, whatever you want to call it, light brown. Um, pretty smooth. Does have a little bit of texture, but it's not doing a whole lot for me. The edges are chamfered. I like to see that. Yeah, they didn't do that on the Moro. Or. Not very much. They do it more on this one. Not contoured, but chamfered. And it is a liner lock. Got pretty good access to it. No problems there. You have a couple deployment options. You got your your flipper. I don't think you can fill it. I do have compl some complaints on the flipper, but we'll get to that. And the fuller, which is my favorite, got a pretty solid detent. Like the detent. Thumb flick it. You got a ba matching backspacer. This thing has some robust liners too. Of course, it'd be nice if those were inset, but. You do have a good sharpening tool. I didn't even test the edge. Let's do that. Huh. That's weird. Seems like it's pretty sharp at the bottom, at the top, and the middle. It sucks. That's pretty normal for Migron though. I've gotten three of their knives and none of them have had the best edge. I've heard other people complain about their edge, so. Maybe one day they'll learn how to sharpen a knife, but anyways. Um, of course, I do think this knife is worth the $31. Is it perfect? No, definitely not perfect, but good looking knife. No more sandblasting. The satin looks really good. Thin blade too. Can be slicey if you, if you sharpen it after you get it. Let's go over the dislikes. Um, for one, this is just a minor complaint. It's D2 steel, but they did not label it. Unless I'm blind, I even took it apart to look. I guess they're not very proud of that. I don't blame them. Um, and another complaint is that it's D2. Like, why would they switch from 14C to D2? I know it's like 10 to $20 cheaper, depending on which model you get, but I'd rather pay that. Um, yeah. And um, yeah, they should learn how to sharpen a knife if they're going to make knives. That kind of just makes sense. Um, a knife's not a knife if it can't knife. Um, the clip, oh. It's very functional, works good. Not very comfortable. You got a grip on this, you definitely feel it. Yeah. And it is steel. I know you're used, probably used to their titanium clips. But I believe this is their second budget model without titanium clip. Um, last one. Flipper tab. Works great. Good detent, all that. But it is really sharp. If you, want, if you do it like that, that hurt. That just does not feel good. You gotta put your whole finger on it. It still don't feel the best. I'd still say it's definitely worth the money. I just go with the four every time. It, if you got medium to large sizes, it'll just barely fit you. 
Flipper tab makes it a little bit more hard because this is not a finger tool. If you got extra large hands, I'd just pass on that straight away. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how the steel performs. Set on the website 57 to 59. Hope that was just like a mistop, but wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, good looking knife. Um, some things there have improved on, but some things that are still the same. So yeah, I'll have it linked down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my Instagram. And um, give me a like or comment. See you in the next one.